Sleeping well is important for overall health and well-being. Here are some tips to help you get a good night's sleep. A good night's sleep routine begins early in the day. Get outside in the morning for at least half an hour after waking up and expose yourself to the sunlight. Sunlight helps regulate our internal body clock, which plays a crucial role in determining our sleep-wake cycle. By exposing yourself to sunlight in the morning, you can help reset your clock and promote better sleep at night. At the same time, do some physical exercises. Avoid napping during the day. If you nap during the day, limit it to 20 to 30 minutes and avoid napping late in the afternoon, preferably before 3 p.m. to avoid interference with night sleep. Exercise regularly. Regular physical activity can help you sleep better, but avoid exercising within a few hours of bedtime as it can make it harder to fall asleep. Establish a sleep routine to train your brain to sleep better. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. Regular wake-up time is more important than regular bedtime. Limit caffeine and alcohol. Avoid consuming caffeine, such as coffee, tea, or cola, and alcohol before bedtime as they can interfere with sleep. Caffeine should be taken at least 4 to 6 hours and alcohol 2 hours before bedtime. Avoid rich and fatty food at night. Anything that causes heartburn or indigestion can interfere with sleep. Try not to eat 3 hours before bed. If you are really hungry, maybe just have a cup of warm milk before bed. Address your worries by writing them down, preferably in the afternoon. Sort through the worries, into actionable versus hypothetical. Use a reminder to take action on those worries that can be solved and set aside wholeheartedly those that you cannot do anything. Facing worries deliberately during the day reduces anxiety at night and makes it easier to fall asleep. Associate bed with sleep and sex only. Do not read, watch TV, or do your work in bed. Associate a trigger activity with sleep. Engage in relaxing activities, such as reading, a warm bath, or calming music, to help you wind down and prepare for sleep. A warm bath is best taken an hour before sleep. It raises your core temperature initially and then lowers the core temperature to induce sleep. Meditation helps to manage stress and anxiety so that you can sleep better. Think of things that you are grateful for. Avoid stimulating activities before bedtime. Don't use electronic devices, such as phones, laptops, or televisions, for at least an hour before you go to bed. The blue light emitted by these devices can suppress the production of melatonin, a hormone that helps regulate sleep. Create a sleep-conducive environment. The best temperature for sleep is usually between 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 67 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius and 19 degrees Celsius. This temperature range has been shown to promote sleep and help people fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer. A cooler bedroom environment can help signal to the body that it's time to sleep, as the drop in body temperature is associated with drowsiness. On the other hand, a warm and stuffy environment can make it difficult to fall asleep and stay asleep. It's also important to note that individual preferences can vary, so the best temperature for sleep can vary from person to person. Do write down in the comment below the temperature you find most comfortable to sleep in. In addition to temperature, it's also important to create a comfortable sleep environment by ensuring that the bed and pillows are comfortable, the room is dark and quiet, and the air is fresh and circulating. If necessary, use a fan, air conditioning, earplugs, an eye mask, block out blinds, or a white noise machine to help create a comfortable sleep environment. If you are a light sleeper or your partner snores or is a restless sleeper, consider sleeping alone or at least using individual blankets. The type and quality of the mattress also affects sleep. Oh yeah, make sure there are no bed bugs or mosquitoes that bite and wake you up in the midst of your sweet dreams. Another way to sleep better is to tape your mouth closed and breathe through the nose. This avoids breathing in all kinds of things that knock us out and cause allergies. It also reduces the chances of dry mouth and throat in the middle of the night as breathing is no longer through the mouth. This concept is explained in more detail in a book titled Breath by James Nestor. Seek professional advice to check whether you have sleep apnea. Fix the problem of frequent night urination. Stop drinking water three hours before bedtime. Know how many hours of sleep you need and plan your sleep and wake time. Avoid using the alarm clock and avoid the snooze button if possible. This may interrupt the sleep cycle. Now there are sleep monitors that wake you up at the correct stage of the sleep cycle close to the time that the alarm has been set. If you're still having trouble sleeping, talk to your doctor. They may recommend other strategies or refer you to a sleep specialist. Medication is the last option. Do comment on whether you have learned anything new from this video. 
please subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Thank you.